So last week, Marvel announced that they would be releasing an original graphic novel called Deadpool Bad Blood next year in 2016. Which is strange when you think about it. They canceled Fantastic Four and are downplaying the X-Men because Fox owns the movie rights to them. And now they're putting out a Deadpool book in 2016, the same year the Deadpool movie is coming out, which is also done by Fox. But that's not what I want to talk about. See, Bad Blood is being illustrated by Deadpool's original artist and co-creator, Rob Liefeld. Now, to say that Rob Liefeld is a controversial figure in the world of comics is a huge understatement. You literally cannot say his name without everybody's emotions running wild. You either love this man or you hate this man. There is no middle ground. Or is there? Let's give a little history before we really delve into today's topic. Rob Liefeld began his career as an artist for Marvel and DC during the late 80s. In the early 90s, his work on books like The New Mutant saw his popularity soar to unexpected heights. This was the same time that artists like Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee, Eric Larson, and all the other future Image founders were starting to gain popularity. And once they did go leave to form Image Comics, which wasn't that long after New Mutants came out, Rob Liefeld released Youngblood, his popular creator-owned series. And since that time, Rob Liefeld has returned to DC and Marvel to do a lot of high-profile work, like his Captain America Heroes Reborn story, or various titles during DC's New 52 launch. Now, throughout his career, Rob Liefeld has been something of a lightning rod for controversy. No matter what he does, trouble just seems to follow him. He has a notorious reputation for being late, specifically with his creator-owned books like Youngblood. Books he writes or illustrates can sometimes take months or even longer to ever see the light of day. And that's to say nothing of the books that he announces and then cancels after an issue or two, or sometimes before the first issue even comes out. Also, he gets sued a lot by other creators, either for missing payments or failing to live up to his contracts. This is to say nothing of his public spats at DC Editorial, or calling every other Deadpool writer since him a D-lister, or just the random outlandish things he says on Twitter. And perhaps most of all, the actual work he puts out has been, let's be nice and say questionable. His writing is never given high remarks from fans or critics. They're often derided for having nonsensical plots, elements lifted wholesale from other comics, and storylines that focus more on action and cool moments than they do actual character development. As for his artwork, oh boy, that artwork. Now, every artist has a certain style. It's what makes their artwork their artwork. But sometimes, when an artist becomes particularly known for something, they become a slave to that style, and Rob Liefeld is definitely a slave to his own style. Everybody he draws has crazy body proportions. The men are always impossibly muscular and always have a grimace on their face, whereas the women he draws... Honestly, I don't know what the hell he does to his women. He's been lampooned for giving his characters crazy shoulder pads, abnormally large guns, and pouches. Lots and lots of pouches. He seems to have a really hard time drawing characters holding a gun, too. If you look at some of his covers and artwork, a lot of the times they're holding a gun strangely. And of course, feet. Rob Liefeld has a problem drawing feet for some reason. So yeah, this guy clearly doesn't have the best track record. If anything, he occupies a similar niche to Michael Bay. They both make big stupid pieces of work that we know are bad, and yet not only do they keep finding work, people keep buying them in droves. And despite all of this, despite the bad artwork, the outlandish personality, the controversies and whatnot, I do not consider myself a Rob Liefeld hater. In fact, I kind of admire the guy. Now I know that might be hard to understand considering I just spent the past few minutes discussing all of his major flaws and I've mentioned in past videos how he's not that great of an artist. But here's the thing, Rob Liefeld loves comics. He really does. You go watch or read any interview of his and you really get the sense that he truly loves his job and the medium that he's in. When he was going through his spat with DC, it wasn't because he was being particularly diva-ish. It was because they were putting restrictions on him and other creators. He was just the only one to publicly speak out about it. And while it may seem like he's bragging when he talks about how big his books were back in the day, that's not without reason. A lot of the books he was drawing were million sellers. Even back in the 90s, that was a rare occurrence. And he was doing it often. New Mutants became a million seller when he became the artist. And X-Force number one sold five million copies. That makes it the second best-selling comic book of all time. That's nothing to sneeze at. 
I actually recommend people follow him on Twitter. He offers a lot of insight into the world of comics and movies that may seem ugly, but it's actually educational. You will learn something you might not have realized or might not have wanted to realize. And on some level, I'm pretty sure he's aware of his public image, and he embraces it. He did an interview where he said that people actually bring pouches to conventions for him to sign. And he signs them. To him, pouches are like his calling card. People associate them with Rob Liefeld. Do you know how many artists would kill to have anything associated to them? So while Rob Liefeld may not be a great comic book artist, he's a great comic book personality. And honestly, we need somebody like him in the industry. He's focused, he's sincere, and he's passionate about what he does. He's somebody who can keep the industry on their toes and keep them authentic with not just who they are, but the characters they create as well. So let's just stop hating on Rob Liefeld's internet. He doesn't ruin your favorite comics. If anything, he makes them and the industry as a whole that much more interesting. Let me know down below or anywhere on the internet what you think of Rob Liefeld. Do you like him or do you hate him? If you hate him, try and be nice. I know it could be hard, but try and be nice. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, only on YouTube. Subscribe to see more. Like if you like. Share with your friends. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. Now, the comic book industry has tried really hard to gear its books to an older crowd, sometimes way too hard. But that doesn't mean they stopped making comics for kids. You just need to know where to look. And lucky for you, I can help you with that. You know, people just don't want cable anymore. They want to be in control of what they watch. And so. because cable, the whole cable and because, system is, is absolutely bonkers. And because cable companies are pieces of shit. And if you're watching this, any of you, yes, I'm calling you out. Yeah, you're all f***ing assholes. Yeah.